President Robert Mugabe opening the session of Parliament in Zimbabwe. One of his priorities is to urge parliamentarians to vote in favor of a controversial computer crime and cybersecurity bill so it becomes law as soon as possible. It will give security officials the power to seize mobile phones and laptops of individuals the state believes are inciting public violence using social media. Members of Mugabe's ruling Zanu PF party say they don't want to ban social media, only regulate it. The moment you begin to see people uh, engaging in destructive, retrogressive tendencies and smearing uh, the reputation of a government, that is against the national interest. And it's vitally important that we regulate that interaction and make sure that if people cross a certain line, there are consequences for them. Some of those consequences will include a fine and or jail time. Opposition parties and civil society groups have been using Facebook, Twitter and WhatsApp to demand the 92-year-old leader steps down. The problem with this bill is that uh, it's coming at a time when uh, the government is in a panic mode, uh, particularly on account of uh, uh, the social movements, uh, the upsurge in the uptake in the use of uh, the social media. So clearly we are seeing um, government reacting, and it is a reaction, not a response. The protest movement that began in July has largely died down. After weeks of anti-government protests, the capital Harare is now relatively quiet. That's because the police have banned all demonstrations until mid-October. They say it's for security reasons. Parliamentarians could spend weeks, maybe even months, debating the bill. But many political analysts say it will likely become law simply because Mugabe's ruling Zanu PF party has the majority in parliament. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.